most people are familiar with the fact that an actor or a musician or an artist or a writer has something called a body of work. And a body of work is what we do at a certain period of our lifetime. And that each period of our lifetime can change. For example, Nick Nix is a marvelous cartoonist and character writer who did something for me and my late wife. And I'm so grateful because it's one of my favorite prints of us. I pray to God I still have it someplace in my storage unit and it hasn't been abused or used or stolen by the law enforcement officers that totally ruined my life and my possessions. But what I can also tell you is that there's another artist that I'm totally uh, liking despite the fact that he and I have a totally different life philosophy in politics. And he is a great uh, artist. And openly, he has a body of work that's really marvelous. But what I'm saying is that in life, we all have the right to create a body of work. And whether you're a creative person like me, where you have different types of stipulations on your industry that you have to produce in order to be considered even within that profession, there are other people that have a body of work, like, say, an accountant. An accountant has a body of work based on whether or not they do their numbers right or they keep screwing it up and it makes the uh, EFP, which is the executive financial president, in problems. You see, every person out there has a body of work and the real question to you is, what's your legacy going to be? What is your body of work going to say about you or about me? You see, how we serve people is how we survive in this world. And how we thrive in this world is how we try to use all our gifts and talents to make a body of work that makes sense at a given period of time. My body of work before was different than it is now. And that's the truth, for a lot of reasons. Back then, I might not have had as many skill sets. I might not have had as much experience as I do today. And that's sort of important a part of the career way. But when we're trying to find a new job of employment, when we're trying to get some project work so that we can keep food on the table and maybe get to a hotel room someplace to have a nice stay and actually sleep in a, in a bed instead of on the sidewalk in the middle of nowhere, we have to have people that can see our abilities. We have to have people that are willing to take a little risk. We also have the people that have a little bit of compassion to say, you know what, it doesn't matter how great or good this is going to be. What I'm doing is for me to help me understand poverty or help me to do something right for somebody or help me to know the difference between maybe someone who's truly homeless versus someone who's impoverished. 